Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is Abacus the Great. I'm not sure what YouTube channel this is going to be uploaded on, so I'm just going to use my showdown name for now. Uh, but this is uh, my team. And I'm not going to do a team builder. I'm just going to explain my team briefly right now. Now, it's reversed. I'm just going to switch it once we start. My team was... Uh, I started with what was I going to do for Mega Lopony? Because Mega Lopony was a major problem for my team. It's a major problem for any team. So I decided to have a 100% switch in. I have like one or two things on my entire team that don't get too hit KO'd by this thing. One of them is Sylveon. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to use Sylveon. Max HP, max physical defense, uh, cleric. Sylveon. And. Hyper Voice, Wish, Heal, will Protect. It's basically standard Sylveon, but it does work well as a Mega Lop counter. And what I decided is I'm going to keep it for Mega Lop. It's dedicated Mega Lop counter, and I need it to be healthy. It takes 41 to 49 from a uh, return, which meaning once adding in leftovers, it takes net 43% damage. So I need to stay above 86 HP, 86% HP with it, or else I get too hit KO'd. Uh, or at least I have a chance to get to it KO'd. Uh, next I was thinking, uh, how do I want the hazards to be? And I realized that with all of his rockers, I don't think I can keep hazards off the field. Which is basically what I decided my team makeup to be. I didn't want to bring all of my hazard weak offensive bonds with Entei, Mega Pinsir, and Weavile. Probably only one of them since I was not going to bring Zatu. Instead I decided, rocks are going to be on his side of the field. Nido King is his dedicated rocks, uh, his hazard removal killer. Sludge Wave is a 2 8 KO on Avalug. Ice Punch is a 2 8 KO on Golbat. Earth Power for Registeel, Stealth Rock. Uh, it was like 128 EVs in attack, 128 special attack EVs, max speed, something like that. Anyway, then I have Tyrantrum. This is sort of a weird uh, Tyrantrum set. It's max speed adamant with. Uh, that's a battle right there, uh, with 240 EVs in attack and 16 EVs in special defense. This ensures two things, that a Chatot with max special attack, uh, well actually this doesn't really matter since all of its moves are sound based, but basically a Chatot with max special attack does less than 25% to me, and more importantly, in this battle at least, and this actually became well, critical in the battle, uh, an Almamola Scald with four special attack EVs will never break my sub. Uh, it does 20 to 24 percent, so it will never break my sub, which means it is my setup fodder. I want to be able to take advantage of that setup fodder, and uh, I thought that Tyrantrum would be able to do it very well, considering how pitiful Almamola's special attack is. Next, I decided, uh, this actually isn't the uh, order that I thought of the team in, uh, it's actually went, it actually went and built tank Gastrodon Weavile, actually I think it went and built tank Tyrantrum Gastrodon Weavile, but anyway, or maybe even Weavile Gastrodon, but anyway, uh, Mill tank I decided was going to be my Volcanion check. Uh, I decided to bring Assault Vest with Earthquake, Body Slam, Ice Punch, and Iron Head. Body Slam for Paralysis, Earthquake for uh, obviously hitting Volcanion as hard as possible, Ice Punch for uh, Haxorus, I'm pretty sure, was his uh, thing. Again, I'm sorry about the uh, unprofessionalism, but anyway, Haxorus was his. Uh, yeah, Haxorus and Chatot, uh, but in Golbat. And Gorgeist. All four of them are weak to ice. And I decided Ice Punch, hey, I could get some decent damage on them. And finally, uh, Iron Head for Clefable. And I decided to run Max Speed Max Attack, just because I wanted to maximize my damage on Volcanion. It does, it's not that great of a Volcanion check, but with Sylveon running Physical Defense, it's the best I had. Uh, moving on to my Physical uh, Defense check, it's not a great one. It's a Gastrodon with an Acid Armor set, and I'm not worried about revealing all these since most of them were revealed in the battle. You'll see in a little bit. Uh, but yes, Gastrodon had a, an Acid Armor set with Recover, Scald, and Earth Power for Registeel and Volcania, so I don't get walled by it. 
And then, finally, I had Weavile, because I thought, if I have one Hazard Weak Pokemon, I should be able to handle it. Uh, it was Banded Weavile, actually, with Knock Off, Icicle Crash, uh, Low Kick, and Poison Jab. No Ice Heart, because there was really no reason to. Uh, it wasn't really going to do enough to Megalop for it to matter, and I already outsped his other Fastmon in Azelf. <laughs> so that was my team. Let's go ahead and get into the battle real quick. Now, I looking at his team, he did not bring a uh, hazard remover. So I decided that I didn't need to set up the rocks immediately. Or at least I didn't need to lead with my rock setter and try to counter his hazard removal. I thought that since he didn't bring hazard removal, he was going to uh, lead Megalop, so I decided to lead with Sylveon. And I already had this played out in my head. He was going to click Fake Out on me, and I was going to click Protect. So what did I do? He Mega Evolved, I clicked Protect, and he clicked Fake Out. Perfect! Turn one, all good. I decided that I cannot mess with this threat. I'm clicking Hyper Voice. I wanted to click Wish, but I, I, I needed to click Hyper Voice here. Uh... And it did, like, nothing to Registeel. That's fine, though. I have my switch-ins. I decided to go into uh, Gastron instead of Nidoking, because Nidoking just doesn't take those Iron Heads very well. But he just clicks Protect, which is interesting. He was probably scouting for, like, an HP Fire, or, uh, like, a Dig, or something like that. I don't know. And I just click Scald, because if Volcanion comes in, uh, it doesn't help it. And then I just click Earth Power, or I switch to Miltank. And if... Uh, I would rather be able to hit Azelf than to be able to hit Volcanion at this stage in the game. Uh, but I did get the burn, which it was beneficial. And I wasn't sure if I was going to click uh, Earth Power here. Uh, I think I just clicked Scald again, particularly Azelf Switch. Yeah. Um, and it does nothing. And he clicks Toxic, which makes me really happy I didn't go into Tyrantrum right this second. I decided to click Acid Armor. Uh, trying to set up with the Gastrodon, but it didn't work because of the Toxic. Now, this man had uh, some forms of grass coverage with Azel running, I think, Energy Ball and HP Grasses, but I didn't. I, I thought it was worth a shot at least. But Gastrodon gets Toxic, so that's okay. Uh, I decided just to uh, go out into Type Ranch Room here. It was a very, very gutsy switch. Uh, but my thought process was he probably wasn't going to click Scald, and he probably wasn't going to click Protect. I mean, Toxic. Uh, because if he clicks Toxic, that's predicting a switch out. Uh, which he might have done. And if he clicks Scald again, why would he risk that when Gastrodon, which is immune to both at that point in the game, is out? And I have a uh, Nidoking, which is immune to Toxic, and some, th some various things that might uh, be able to eat Scalds from all the more. So I decided to pr predict him to not click Scalded Toxic and go into Tyrantrum. He clicks Wish. That's fine. I decided to go with my plan and click Sub. Sub, uh, click Scald and it doesn't break. Thankfully he's not like Specs Olmamol or Offensive Olmamol or something like that. I just clicked Dragon Dance. Let's go. Uh, I, I decided to go for the sweep right now. He switches out to Clefable, and I think I just clicked another sub here. And at this point, I was thinking, he's probably unaware Clefable. So, but even unaware Clefable, most variants of it to it get to it KO'd by Head Smash. So what do I do? I click Head Smash, and it gets a crit and one-hit KO's it! <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's just say that the High Ranger was set was, uh, critical. Seriously, though, I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh... That a habib. I'm sorry that that crit happened, and it did change the momentum of the game because instead of this Tyrantrum's uh, sub being broken with the moon blast that I was thinking was pretty much impending, uh, obviously there. Uh, instead, it does not get the sub broken, which I think means well. Let's just see what happens. So he goes into Registeel, and I do a lot of damage with the Iron Head. And it doesn't break my sub, which is weird. I thought it would. But instead of letting it break my sub, I just killed it with Earthquake. Uh, he goes into Almamol again, and I just click Dragon Dance here for a Caucus. Yes, I do click Dragon Dance. And he goes for the Wish. So I thought I'd just click Head Smash and Miss instead of clicking Dragon Dance again. Mm, it's it's unfortunate, but uh, I, go, I click Sub again. 
and he goes for Skull and it still doesn't break it because of those 16 special defense EVs. Uh, would have been like a 1 out of 8 chance for it too, but uh, with all the times he hit me with Skull, it probably would have had a high roll once. Uh, but I kill three things on his team with Dragon Dance, Tide Rantrum. Uh, yay. And he clicks Fake Out, and I thought, oh, it didn't kill. Maybe I'll be able to get, like, a Head Smash off on it or something. Or maybe he'll be forced to switch. He has Quick Attack, and that's fine. Uh, Tyrantrum had <laughs> killed his entire wall core. So, Tyrantrum, let's just say, did his job. At this point, uh, my one con is keeping Sylveon healthy for Megalop. Uh, getting the Azelf low so Weavile can revenge it. And whittling the Vulcanian down. Which means, if Sylveon uh, goes out, like, if he, Sylveon just has to click Hyper Voice. If I call correctly, that's what I click here. It's the safe play. Yeah. Right? Or did I click Wish? I clicked Wish, okay. Yeah, I predicted his Hyper Voice. I, I predicted his switch to either Volk or Azelf. In case of Volk, I decided to go out into Mill Tank. He probably predicted the, uh... Uh, Gasher on switch, and also Life Orb Volcanion makes it a lot harder. It revealed Life Orb makes it a lot harder to deal with because of his specs. I could play around it. Uh, if it was Assault Vest, it would not hit very hard, or at least not as hard. So it's really hard. But but it being Life Orb, very very problematic. And I realize that I probably am not going to get a very big win on this game. To be able to secure the win, I need to be sacking Mons. So I just click Earthquake. I want the one thing about Volcania is that it does not get uh, any recovery. So I decided just to get damage on it, and I predicted the ASL switch here and clicked Body Slam. Hope to get uh, the Paralysis Brock, maybe, and maybe I can Iron Head flinch it. But it didn't happen. That's okay though. Uh, Dazzling Gleam uh, kills. I go into Weavile, and his best play here was to just sack the Azelf, because if, if he goes into Mega Lopunny, it gets uh, whittled by an Icicle Crash. He goes into Volcani, and he risks getting knocked off. He, he just could not risk taking damage on something at that point, so I just killed the Azelf with Weavile. Uh, he goes into Mega Lop, and at this point, I have two options. Either try to go for like a 3 or a 4 row. Uh, by keeping Weavile and switching into Sylveon in the fake out, or sacking Weavile because I have things that outspeed Volcanion, so I can deal with Volcanion if I need to. Uh, I don't need Weavile to deal with Volcanion and it loses to make a lop. What I decided to do is just to sack Gastron because Gastron also actually gets outsped by Volcanion. Can't take a hit from Volcanion. Can't. Well, you're about to see what happens when it gets uh, lopped. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take a hit from Wop, apparently. Uh, crit return kills, and that's fine. Revenge crit. I think the crit mattered. I might calc it afterwards. Uh, and then, if I do, I'll, I might put it in like, the description or something like that. Uh, but, uh, return crit. I don't know how much it would have mattered unless I got the Scald burn. Which I'm pretty sure I clicked Scald there. But it got the crit, and it killed. That's fine. It crits one of my walls, I crit one of his walls. That being said, I think my crit mattered a lot more. So I go into Sylveon. He has to go into Volcanion here. And please tell me I predicted this. No, I just clicked Hyper Voice. Right. And this is another critical part. If I let Sylveon get damaged here by a Steam Eruption, I didn't think I could beat Megalopony. So, what's my best play? Click Protect. So I don't... Uh... I think after Rocks, then I'm at 82%, which, uh, but at that point, I have the pretty decent chance of only having to take one return from Megalop, instead of if I take the Steam Eruption and then I get burned, it could just be bad. So I just switch into Weavile, sack off Weavile, uh, I don't know why Weavile over, uh, Nidoking, but... I just go into Nido King and click uh, Sludge Wave, if I call correctly, and kill it. So Nido King got a kill, which is nice. And again, I'm not going to when the Megalop comes out. Uh, yeah, there's the fake out crit. I wasn't going to risk going into Sylveon and getting to it KO'd. Uh, he just kills me with fake out plus return. And finally, 
Megalop versus Sylvia on the moment we've been, all been waiting for. Hyper Voices, min damage, as you're about to see, is 104%. With even no special attack EVs. And if you risk, like, he couldn't have done anything to try to live one. Because there, there are just too many things. There's no reason for him to. Well, I mean, there are reasons. There's just too many reasons against it. Uh, like, if he was to, like, what would he take out? If he was to take out attack, then he might not land the 2 at KO after rocks. Uh, if he was to land, if he was to take out speed, he might get outsped by Weavile. Or he might get, uh, you know, things might happen. And he'd have to put in a lot of sped FEVs to get, uh, a good chance to get the, uh, to live it. Like, a lot of sped FEVs. Uh, so... I, I, and then there's the problems with, you know, what happens if it takes rocks damage, what happens if this happens, hazards. I did not get hazards up, but I still won, and I didn't really have a good chance to get hazards up until late game, and at that point, hazards really didn't mean anything. Uh, like, if I click stealth rock a uh, couple of turns before I, excuse me, I, instead of Slitoy, I would have lost, because it would have just killed me. And then Sylveon would have had to take the Seam Eruption anyway. And that Rock's damage would not have mattered. 6%. Very, very doubtful that it would have mattered. Uh, I'd rather take the chance that he was running the Spidef EVs uh, instead of taking the chance that Steam Eruption would get the burn. You know, 70% chance instead of very, very little chance that he would do that with all of the uh, things going against it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you were entertained by the battle, and I'll see you next time. Also, uh, just a word right beforehand. Do you want team builders? Oh, and secondly, do you want postcom? Like, do you want team builders inside of the video, or team builders outside of the video in a separate video? And secondly, do you want postcoms or live comms? I decided to do a postcom just because it would be shorter. And actually, this battle is pretty short, but. It'd be shorter, and I hadn't done a team building video beforehand, so I decided I'll just do a postcom. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.